a tough game against uh, superior opposition. What are yeah. your thoughts on the match? No, at this, this stage of the season, you, there's a process to what you're trying to do. I think we are, you've got to look at the big picture. We've had three games in a week now, uh, a lot of training in between, hell of a lot of training. We've not adjusted any training in regards of leaving them for the game, so they're going into games tired as well. But I thought what we're asking them to do, you can see little bits of it coming together. They're getting fitter, definitely getting fitter. So that's the priority, but the, the stuff in the final third, that comes with time, the slickness of it, the passing of it. So uh, it's, it's constant work, we're, we're three weeks in, you know what I mean, it's a big, we're always looking at the big picture. I'm not sure if you'd call him a trialist at 31, maybe a elongated uh, job interview, but a zoom back a Yogo, uh, a left back, how did you feel he played today? I thought he did great, I thought he did great, I thought uh, he's come in, obviously he's been here before and he's, he's been away and come back. Athletically, you can, you can see what he's about, and uh, he's a, he gets stuck in as well. You know, he's, he's I like him. I thought he did really well, considering he's not had a lot of training. I think he's just natural athlete anyway. So, is a, a realistic proposition of um, possibly signing him? Uh, terms of it? I, I, I don't know about all about that. What, we, what we're doing at the moment is you've got to obviously evaluate what you've got. We need to get players in and have a look at them, and a lot of clubs will be doing that now. And then we uh, will sit down and then. <laughs> come together and make decisions on that. At the moment, we can't say, well, we're going to definitely take him and definitely take that. It's uh, it's looking at the best solution for what we think and the best squad we can put together. Because obviously, once the window shuts, what's in the building's in the building. So we've got to make sure we do the right things and make sure we're right on everything that we do. One player you have brought in on loan until January is Harvey Gilmore. Can you, can you tell us a bit more about him and what he's all about? Yeah, he's, uh, obviously he's come from Sheffield United and he's you've seen little glimpses of him there. He's a very good footballer, left footed. And he wants to be part of he wants fair play to him, he's come out and he wants to he wants to go on loan. He wants doesn't want to just sit in Sheffield United and say in the twenty threes, he wants to come out and play some football and he's he only just been in the group a couple of days. And he'll get fitter and he'll get sharper just like all the rest of the group will. Uh, he's a good lad round the place, he's fitted in really well with the group. So we're really pleased with him, but these He's got some ability as well, the lad. And he, for me, he doesn't it doesn't phase him, which is always good for a young player. No, Scott Davis today. Where is he today? Uh, Scott is just carrying a little knock at the moment, so we're just looking at that, and uh, that'll be assessed over the next couple of days, and something will be probably put out how he's doing and things like that. So we'll have a look. Um, the game wasn't high on incident, but there was a bit no. of a flash point uh, about 12 minutes from the end between um, Stephen <laughs> Nolte and James Vaughan. Uh, has that all been uh, all kissed and made up now? Yeah. I, I know both of them, uh, not personally, obviously no Maka, but I've seen them, I know what they're like and I've seen the first bit go off and then I thought, that's not going to end there, you know, but that, that's it, you know, that's, that's football, you know, you, you move on with it, they're two competitive people, you know what I mean, they don't want to give, no one wants to give an inch, so that's what usually happens, so no way they've got a problem with that at all, it's, it's, it's football. Um, just a bit of a situation with Paul Mullen, he was on the pitch, then he was off, then he was back on again. Yeah. A bit of a knock, what's the situation? He, no, he, he seems alright, just icing it now. We'll have, again, we'll assess that on Monday. Uh, he just took a little knock when he went off on his ankle, so we'll just have to look at it, assess it on Monday. Uh, goal for James Norwood near the end, good header. Uh, and a good cross from Ben Tollett, who's yeah. you know, maybe been out the picture for a bit, certainly more than uh, he would have liked. Uh, yeah. Are you pleased for Ben being able to contribute um, something to the game? Yeah, what people have got to understand with Toll is he's, he's been out for a hell of a long time and it's we can't just start throwing him in and playing him full game. We've got a we've got a responsibility to the lad on his career. So we build him slowly to make sure when he actually gets the chance to go full games, then he'll be ready. So that's our responsibility as, as coaches and managers to the, to the guy himself, that's his career. But he did great, I thought Norse did great. Norris, you could see little glimpses of Norse getting back to where he was and I thought he was a threat all day to him. So that's that's pleasing with him because he's uh, he was the bigger the games I think he gets it gets it going more. And Johnny Smith on the other side as well, perhaps offering more balance to the side with the, with the two wingers. Yeah, again he's a young kid. We obviously played against us last year, and he's come in. Then you can see what he's about. You know what I mean? He's sharp across the ground. He can play on either side, and he works unbelievably hard. So he'd be a great he's a great asset to the group, and uh, we're pleased to have him here. And we've got a chance to work with him. He's working with these young kids. Coming from uh, higher clubs, it's it's good for the coaches and to uh, see if we can get the best out of them and improve them for their career as well, as well as Tramley. When we spoke to Mickey on Wednesday, yeah. reset expectations in terms of acquisition. Yeah. Is there anything likely to happen this week? No, you can never say never on it all because things, I think this year, things have moved a lot slowly 
everywhere. And so you're always on the lookout of what plays you can get in, what plays you need, as if you've picked up any injuries that you're going to have to move on something else. So it's constantly being assessed. So at this moment in time, there's nothing where we're going to say, like you mix the deal with there's no marquee signings going to come in. But that doesn't mean we're not, this squad isn't OK. You know, we, we want to build, every manager and coach wants the best possible squad they can have. The fans want it, but yeah, everybody wants it. So that's what we're, what we're trying to do. But it doesn't just happen on, overnight, it doesn't happen like that. So we're in the process of getting the best possible squad together that we can. Finally, I think he, is it Warrington midweek? Yeah. Um, what sort of side are you looking to take those at first team squad, or are you going to? Yeah, I think we're I think we're looking at it at the moment where we'd probably take most of the group because obviously the training ground at the moment is a bit hard. But that's not the only everywhere's like that at the moment. If you haven't got the water on it, so it might be better for us to go and play and get some minutes. We'll probably maybe train in the morning, go and play at the night time, and train the next day. So it'd be just part of. The ongoing training that we're doing, so it's we build into another week now. Uh, different phase of training, different way of training for this week. A lot more speed and power stuff. So we start to shout them up. Cheers, mate. Yeah, no Can I ask you about Luke Cullen? Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, you've mentioned Scott Davis carrying the knocks in, which is Cullen played, but yeah. he's been given quite a few minutes over the last two games. How good does it make you feel as a management team that you know there is comp competition in most areas of the squad? Yeah, you want that. Luke's a good young keeper, you know what I mean? He works with uh, Ed and Nixon there with the other goalkeepers. They do a great job of him. And we're, you're trying to, you want them young players to come through and you want them to play. So he's, he's, we've given the minutes. Obviously, he's got more minutes today with Scotty been injured. So, no, it's the guy's got to come in and play the games. That's what football's all about. Cheers, mate. Thanks.